why are people denying that climate change exists, right? Like there's people that are big proponents of reducing one's carbon footprint. And then there's people that seem to want to not acknowledge the existence of global warming. Donald, now you're asking some hard questions, right? <laughs> you're asking some hard questions. I, I think that there, there's a couple things. I think that, let's face it, there, there are not many of us that really find this sort of thing interesting. You, you mentioned that, you know, football and red zone, there are a lot more people that find seeing their alma mater in the red zone much more interesting than, than listening about carbon footprint. So, so there's a lot of the population that is just like, this is not interesting. They got, they got, they've got, they've got exciting lives and they don't, they want to, they want to do the fun stuff. So there's just a portion that just haven't, it's just, it's just not important. I mean, it's not that it's not important. It's just that they've got other things that are, that are much more, have their mind share much more than this does. There are also some, some entrenched players who are making a tremendous amount of money off of carbon. I mean, that would, that would start with ExxonMobil um, and their competitors, closely followed by Duke Energy and, and all of the people that are supplying us electricity. And so then also you have a, you have the, the situation where, let's face it, we like electricity. We like our car. We, we like to be warm. We like to be clean. We like for the convenience of, of electricity. So the idea that it's bad most of us don't have many things in our lives that we really, really like that are really bad. So there is this, I don't really want to learn about something I really like that's bad. 